Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Marta or Marta. If you can roll your R's all fancy, but either way is fine. I brought this plant in. This is a fake plant. It weighs literally like five pounds. <laughs> but I felt like it fit the aesthetic. This wall was just too blank. Anyway, beside the point. All right guys, this is a long awaited video that I have been getting requested to make for a while, so I figured let's do it now. I just filmed a video already, so I'm already dolled up, so I'm like, let me just sit down, bang out another video. The number one DM I get on Instagram, this is my Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. The number one DM I get is, how do I start a YouTube channel? How did you grow your YouTube channel so fast in one year? How do you talk to brands? Or how, like, they? I get so many questions about YouTube. Um, a lot of them are about, like, getting off the ground and starting it. Like, people don't know what to do when they start it. So, I figured, let's make this video, give my best tips that I can. I'm going to think of them off the top of my head, so I don't even know how many tips they're going to be, but we're going to go through them. Um, things that I've been repeatedly telling people. So, if you're interested in seeing how to start a YouTube channel, grow it, um, then keep on watching. If not, my channel has tons of clothing hauls. I just filmed a bikini haul. We got makeup tutorials, vlogs. Go check it out. If you're here to stay, then let's get started. Disclaimer here, I am not an expert whatsoever. You can see I don't have a million followers, um, unless maybe you're watching this like way in the future, but like I am just a gal that was in college that wanted to pursue YouTube and it kind of took off, uh, meaning that I am making enough to work for myself and I do have other streams of residual income, but they're all through the internet. So I do kind of, I've learned about it. Could I be working harder at it? Absolutely. I do know what it takes to uh, work harder at it, but I'm a little busy and have other things going on. So YouTube isn't like my main like thingy majiggy, but I did get success and I did notice the patterns of what does work. So I don't need anyone in the comments saying, oh, you know, she's a hypocrite. She doesn't have millions of followers because that's not what this is about. It's about growing, okay? It's not about getting, boom, there, like with some quick, easy thing. It's about the tips that get you there. So anyway, just want to say, not an expert, just kind of giving some tips of things that I've learned. Okay, moving on. The biggest thing I get, and this is something I, I very much understand, is I am afraid of what people will think. I am afraid to start it. I don't know if anyone's going to watch it. What if it doesn't do well? What if I get mean comments? Like all of these negative what ifs, okay? I think you need to turn those what ifs into positive what ifs. Like what if it takes off? What if I get recognized? What if I totally crush it? What if I get tons of supporters? Can you change your what ifs to positive and you'll be so much happier and do so much more in life. But beside the point, basically just start, okay? Don't don't worry about what people are going to think because majority of people do watch YouTube and love the content, but don't go ahead and comment, oh my god, I love this content. They usually just watch and enjoy, and I'm one of those people, I just watch and enjoy. Um, so usually the people that comment are the creepy people in their basements, like, judging people, oh my god, I see your stretch marks, and like, literally they have no life, they hate themselves, so please don't let that make you view yourself any less because it says more about them than it does about you. So let that fuel your fire um, and be like, wow, I'm kind of like making an impact here. Um, so please don't let the fear of like what people think like steer you away from doing YouTube because the good people that are watching and see those comments, like they know that that's like bull crap. Like they know that those people are messed up in the head and they shouldn't be commenting those things. So don't worry about that. Okay. Your supporters will continue to love you. Okay. As for maybe people, you know, like your friends in school, I know a lot of you are in high school and you want to start a YouTube channel and you're like worried about what are my friends going to think? That's going to show you who your real friends are right there. Okay. If your friends are not like, oh my gosh, I want to watch you film and they sit right there. My sisters always sit right there. My boyfriend watch me film. Okay. No one's here right now, but that shows you who your true supporters are. Now I have a group of friends, um, you know, a better group of friends because once I started YouTube, I could see oh, who my real friends are, you know? Um, so this is going to be a good thing, okay? And if people get that offended by you doing YouTube, they have something else going on, okay? It's not you. You are not the issue in their life. As long as you're putting out good vibes in the world, spreading positivity, like you're not harming anyone having a YouTube channel, okay? 
So please don't worry about what people think. Those people do not pay your bills. Imagine if the most successful people, you know, in the industry right now didn't do YouTube because they were afraid of what people thought, okay? So please, please don't let that stop you because you're going to impact so many more lives in a positive way. It's going to be like maybe 20% negative and 80% positive impact. So just start. Another thing is people always ask me, oh, it's going to be so expensive. I got to get, you know, a camera and I have to get lights and hot boxes and a ring light and all this stuff. And they have to download that Final Cut Pro. I don't even use Final Cut Pro. I use iMovie. <laughs> it's free. It's on the Mac. Sorry. <laughs> don't think that you need to invest a ton to start just start. You can use your phone in a window. I'm using a window right now. I do have a ring light lighting up the back of the room here because it would be kind of dark, but that's something that didn't matter in the beginning. Look back at my old videos. I dare you go to my videos and click on the um, uh, most uh, old videos, okay? I was in front of a window at my school apartment. I didn't have any ring lights, any tripods. My camera sat on a stack of books, okay? Um, and the background was always gross, but it didn't matter because of the other things that I'm gonna talk about, like consistency and stuff. My dad's mowing the lawn. Oh no, go away. So that's just getting started, getting over the fear of what people think and getting over the fact that you think you need to invest a ton of money into it, okay? You don't. Now let's get into, okay, you started it. What do I do? How do I get my channel noticed, get it growing, all the fun stuff. Tip number one, be consistent, okay? A lot of people start YouTube channels and they post maybe once a month, once every two months, maybe when they only have something cool going on in their life. Um, that's not, people are not gonna find you that way, especially in the beginning, before you hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. It's, pe YouTube doesn't recommend you <laughs> to people um, unless they are really zoning in on that specific criteria of the video you posted. Um, so be consistent, meaning you need to find a rhythm. I started posting three videos a week. I did that for six months and that's how I got from zero <laughs> subscribers to 10,000 or something. Being consistent doesn't mean you have to post three videos a week. It does help if you post a ton because obviously there's more chances of people coming across you, but you can post two days a week, one day a week, but no less, like it needs to be consistent if you really wanna get this moving. And obviously the more work you put into it, the faster you'll get noticed. The people that vlog every single day, their channels get found much faster and they grow following more, like those family channels. I cannot wait to have a family. There's no bun in the oven and there won't be for, for a few years, but I'm gonna have a family vlog. I mean, I'll probably make another channel for that and this just be the fashion one, but still, those channels are my favorite. I'm obsessed. Everyone comment their favorite family vlog channel. Like, I love them. Okay, anyway, moving on. The more, the better, okay? Number two, relevancy. You wanna create content that is relevant, meaning people are searching it, okay? How are they gonna find you, you know? Whoa, it got brighter. The sun is out. Oh, it went away, that was weird. So you wanna definitely pick names of brands or topics or trends or funny things that people are searching, like challenges or um, reviewing clothing lines. That's what really took my channel off is I, I changed from doing makeup to more fashion. I do makeup every now and then, but people are here for the fashion. We do online shopping, you know? So that's like what people wanted to see from me. Um, so I did generate a following of people that are kind of like my fit. Um, I know I have a lot of Hispanic people that follow me because I am Spanish. So if people are talking about how Kylie Jenner got back in shape so quick after having a baby, do, um, you know, I do Kylie Jenner's diet for a week or something. That, that sentence was horrific. I apologize. You basically want to do things like Big things that people are actually doing so you are relevant in the beginning. Once you hit a thousand, do whatever the heck you want. But I think in the beginning, you need to be searchable. You need to be, people need to be able to find you. You can't be like, vlog my life. And people are like, I don't know who this is. Why am I going to watch her vlog her life? <laughs> you know, because um, people don't search vlog my life like in the search bar. They search like, life of a student, or maybe they search like a gymnastics girl or something, they, they make specific searches. So, relevancy. Number three, even though you are doing things that people are searching for, top popular things in the beginning, 
be yourself. Don't start a YouTube channel trying to be some other YouTuber that you love. That's their brand. You need to develop your own. And listen, your brand is just you being you. That's your brand. That's the big secret. It's just you being you. So my thing is like, I have big giant teeth, okay? So I like to smile a lot so people can see my teeth. Um, I talk with my freaking whole body. <laughs> like all my videos, I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> so that's kind of like my thing. Um, I laugh at myself. I, I'm all about body confidence. Like I gained weight over the winter. Didn't stop me. Like I'm still making vlogs. Um, I'm still making try on hauls because I want women to love their bodies, you know? And um, also I inspire people to start their own businesses, to do YouTube, Instagram, like whatever the heck. He's walking by with the blow thing. Hold on. I'm really sorry that it's noisy. I don't want to yell at my dad to leave because that'd be rude. He's my dad. <laughs> um, so anyway, just from the get-go, be yourself. If you start out being somebody else and then you morph into yourself later on, it's going to be very obvious. So be yourself. That's what people subscribe for. They don't subscribe for a robot. Look at this clothing. There it is. Like, they subscribe for you, okay? They love you. I'm telling you, the people are going to love you when you are you, okay? I'm trying to think of another tip. Oh, I thought of another one. Engagement. Engagement is key. When you ask people to comment on your videos, that increases your engagement if they actually comment. Comment back to them. You need to have a relationship. It needs to be a conversation. Um, and this is the same with Instagram as well. You really just, the engagement is so important so that it, YouTube can see, oh, okay, people, you know, are liking the videos. So liking and commenting. Um, you could do a giveaway if you want. Like, like when you hit a thousand, you could do a giveaway. I did that. When I hit a thousand, I did a giveaway. That's it, I think. Um, and doing a giveaway, obviously, the word giveaway in a title does bring you subscribers. But you need to target down your audience. That's another tip. You don't want just anybody watching your videos. Okay, I hate how the lighting is changing so much. Um, you want people watching your videos that are going to engage with you, like comment and like and share and buy the stuff that you love and you're recommending, like have a relationship with you. It's so dark in here, <laughs> oh my God. Um, so you, I'm so sorry that the lighting keeps changing. Um, so I want you to make your avatar. Make your avatar. So this is weird, this is really strange to say, but I have an avatar for Instagram and I have an avatar for YouTube. Two different avatars. I'm gonna eventually merge it into one, but what an avatar is, it's basically your ideal viewer, your perfect audience, someone who's gonna engage with you, talk to you, learn from you, get inspired by you, buy the things that you love. If you're to create something of your own, they're gonna support you and buy it, all that stuff. So design your avatar. like. You know, what's her name? How old is she? What's her ethnicity? What's her favorite thing to do or favorite hobby? What's her passion in life? Figure out your avatar and your content's going to be so much more spot on. We're not here to please everyone. You can't please everyone. That's the thing, you can't please everyone and you don't want to or you're not gonna go anywhere. And I'm still working on that because I do so, I like so many things. Like I like singing and fashion and makeup and hair care and travel and inspiration and business i do love a lot of things so my avatar kind of has to like all of that too i'm still working on it but developing an avatar is going to help you fly your channel much faster because you're going to find that target audience the smaller your market is the bigger it's gonna be it's really weird but yeah if you can design an avatar go ahead all right now i'm done okay that's everything guys if you liked this go ahead and give it a like and i can do more like Instagram YouTube businessy stuff because it is kind of my life I work on online <laughs> on social media if you would like me to do a video all about brands and how to respond to brands how to reach out to brands how to negotiate a collaboration versus the sponsored content and stuff like that um, you let me know comment um, there's a vid there's a podcast I listen to it's called the influencer podcast it is my favorite podcast because I, I get, I've learned everything from her. Literally, she just talks all about how to negotiate brand deals and how to get noticed and everything. So 
she's amazing. Um, one more thing, guys. Don't get discouraged if it doesn't skyrocket at first. And also, don't get discouraged if you kind of plateau. Maybe you plateau at like 50,000, but those people are actual, genuine, like you talk to them, they know you, that's fine. You can still, brands are still going to want to work with you if your engagement's higher. You know, it's better to have 50,000 people that are super engaged than have a million, but only, oh, maybe only 50,000 are super engaged. So it's like, why, you know, it, it's, I can explain that. Just, I can explain that more if you message me on Instagram. <laughs> Anyway, this video is super long. Um, I hope this was helpful. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in my next video where I use my hands a lot. <laughs> Alright guys, I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.